Hi, I think one of the smartest things I have heard recently is if you're having a bad day, give up. Don't try to make it a good day. This is a video for those of you who do art and perhaps you don't like what you're working on currently. Hi there, I have been doing this painting and it's not gone well. This happens a lot actually with art. Sometimes you start a project and it just doesn't go well. It doesn't go how you think it will go. Maybe it needs to dry so you can do the next layer, but it's still wet and you're still trying to make it work and it's not going to. You need to take that break. So this is a reminder to say, it's okay to take that break. It's okay to stop that painting and come back to it later. And it's okay to start all over with that painting. You don't need to finish that particular painting. To quote Marie Kondo, if it's not bringing you joy and it's art and it's self-induced art, stop. <laughs> it might never be perfect. It might be what you need eventually, but you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> there are a lot of times, like this painting in particular, where I start the painting and it starts out good. You start out feeling like this is going to be a good painting. This is, this is going to be a really good one. And then about halfway through, it's not feeling good anymore. <laughs> In fact, not only that, you've you've prodded at it so much, you've done so much to the painting, tried to do so many fixes that it's just... I'm here to say that's okay. <sighs> Maybe you'll work on it more and the painting gets better. Maybe you never work on it again and you feel relief. There's a lot of things with that painting where it could get better. However, my main bit of advice when it comes to art is stop. <laughs> if it's not fun and it's self-induced art, Stop if it's not fun. If it's a project that's just your own project especially and it's not fun, don't do it. Obviously, if the experience is worth it to you, if it's more helpful to you mentally to finish that painting, awesome. For me personally, when I stop and walk away and come back, oh, that, that come back feeling feels great. <laughs> that like, oh, okay. Or at the very least, let the paint dry. Let the paint dry, which if you don't do art, you might not know what this means, but basically, especially like acrylic paints, oil paints will take longer. Let the paint dry. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like once that layer dries and you can see what you're left with, you can work on top of that layer. But if the paint layer you've put down is currently really wet and hard to paint over and make fixes to or add a different color to, huh, just stop about it. Don't worry about it. We're good. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you a hug. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, so basically my biggest art tip I can present you with is <laughs> give up if it's not going well. Some of my favorite paintings I have done have been the quickest paintings I have done. You just never know. And some of the paintings I've spent the most time on are the paintings that I do not like. They are the paintings I never want to see again. They are the paintings I just cannot push into someone else's arms quick enough. And I think what that is, is the paintings that took more effort, the paintings that took more of my time that I didn't necessarily want to give to it because it was a frustrating painting to do. Now the memories attached to that painting are not good. <laughs> it's not like, oh, I achieved something. It's more or less like, ah, I remember doing that project and it was not fun. Versus the ones that took a shorter amount of time or maybe the whole process felt nice. I look at that painting and I love to look at it. I, I love to keep it in my house. I love to hang it on my wall. I'm gonna have a harder time getting rid of that painting. And this is very much a me personally thing. Th these are my own opinions, my own ideas. If you feel differently, please let me know. If you feel like a painting that takes that more of frustration or if maybe if you're not liking something that's going and you work through it and you come out on top and that's your good feeling, let me know that because I am interested. But basically, I'm gonna stop today. I had planned to finish and do that painting today, but I have spent too much time blending one shade of green into another shade of green and having it not work out. <laughs> I know I'm alright. I know I'm good. I've got confidence, but that painting's just not it. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely day. I have a huge amount of respect for all of you who do art and all of you who pursue your passions in life and try to find happiness. Wow, incredible people. I've literally gotta catch a flight right now. <laughs> Run out of time. But last week was super fun. I did do a lot of work last week. Got to go to Manchester and do Pokemon things. Be sure to check out my Instagram if you'd like to see what that's about. And I also got to go to the Black Adam premiere. That was really fun. <laughs> Wishing you all well. Bye. Oh wait, bye's goodbye bye's. Also as part of my I've given up, <laughs> I tried so hard decorating my background. Does it not remind you of like 2012 YouTube? <laughs>
<laughs> or if you just throw something like, oh crap, we need lights. <sighs> I'm here. Cool. Bye, goodbye, bye.